the last R in the six R's is not exactly a step, but a reminder. Repeating the cycle is very important to retrain our brain to let go, relax, smile, and come back to whatever we are doing in our life. You repeat this entire practice cycle to attain the results the Buddha said could be reached in this lifetime. Repeating the six R's cycle helps us to replace old habitual reaction that causes suffering. We begin to see and experience for ourselves what suffering actually is. We notice the cause of it. We experience how to reach the cessation of it by releasing and relaxing and smiling. We don't take anything personally. We understand we live in a world of anicca, of constant movement and flux. Everything is changing all the time. We discover how to exercise this direct path to the cessation of suffering because of this new knowledge that has been reclaimed and this kind of observation. It is in this way we can bring the Buddhist practice home with us into our lives and keep it going all the time so that our minds can become purified and retrained. It will help us if we do this in school, at home, and at work making buddhism come alive in this generation is what this is all about reclaiming the priceless value of this teaching in modern times nothing has changed with the brains of mankind and nothing has changed with the way that suffering operates and nothing has changed with the way that we can overcome our suffering through life and reduce it until finally we can let go of all of it permanently and completely. Following the steps given in the six R's, Tranquil Wisdom Insight Meditation can help us to set ourselves free from feeling helpless and suffering in many ways in daily life. I invite you to try it. Test it for yourself. The whole point of the Buddhist teaching today, 2,500 years later, is to see what operates clearly and helps us to calm our lives and reclaim the power of our brain potential as much as possible in life. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.